Hey guys, Dom here. This is going to be a little bit of a long video, but I don't give a shit. I think it's worth it. This is going to be titled, if you don't see it, up there. Why I carry knives, and why I think other people should carry knives. Knives. <clears throat> um, well, there, well, let me, I'll start by why I carry them. I carry them for various reasons. First reason, as a tool. I seriously do not know how I lived without carrying even the smallest of a blade like this by the co honeybee. If how I didn't survive like everyday tasks without something like that. I don't use them every day. But when I do use them I'm glad I'm ha I glad I'm having. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I got I get made fun of in school or whenever I'm in broadcasting or something, well, I don't carry knives in school, but whenever I'm in broadcasting, when I pull out a knife to cut a piece of tape or open up a box or something, and I need it. And they always make fun, huh, why do you have two knives? Because usually I carry my Gerber multi-tool and a bunch of, or I don't want my spider co or something like that. So they're like, Dom, why do you have two knives? Well, well, they don't ask me why I have two knives, they make fun because I have them. And... <clears throat> I just find it a lot easier when I have when I'm cutting a piece of tape instead of using my mouth like an idiot and trying to cut it. I just whip out I just whip out a knife, slice it open, and while they're still sitting there trying to tape down this wire, which is taking about two minutes, I'm done in a minute. So it makes my work faster. And plus, especially for the multi tool, I've used when we were doing um about the bands, we used that for we used that throughout the night. Whether it was cutting tape, pliers, a screw, anything. So, that's why I carry them. I use them as a tool. Also, self-defense purposes. You never know what's going to happen. You always want to be prepared for the unexpected. That's one of my little life quotes. Be prepared for the unexpected. That way, let's say there's a situation where you think where it where life and death situation where let's say the other guy's coming at you and you have no other way to defend yourself if you're that bad you could whip it out even not even let's say hurt them god forbid just the intimidation they'll run they'll run off i don't know from experience but if i saw someone whip out a knife and I, let's say i was attacking someone for some strange reason and they whipped out a knife at me. I know I haven't bolted out of it. I don't feel like getting killed over some random bullshit. So, yeah. Now, I think other people should carry them for the same reasons I do. Not just for self-defense. Even if... even Not even that. Let's say... Well, if you're... If you're in the line of work where you're not going to need it at all, then why carry? There's no point. But if you're, let's say, you deal with, let's let's say you work in the UPS or some kind of boxing company or something like that, and you're constantly cutting open straps and st and stuff like that, it it'll be nice to have a knife on you, right? Instead of using scissors or whatever, which is a pain in the ass. Knife just go done, right? Um, or if you're a computer technician, um, part boxes sometimes, zip ties, that you would use a scissor for, but you could use a knife for it too, like a multi-tool. Um, just various, various uses for knives as far as computer technicians go. Um, what other kind of profession? Um, city workers like fire department, EMS, and EMS and police officers they could definitely use a knife and well maybe not the police officers but definitely the EMS they have rest they have knives designed just for EMS my dad gets issued multi tools all the time so they do use them why not carry one in real life it's not like it's bulky unless you get like a huge ass thing but if you're carrying even something like this Gerber mini power frame you never know when you're gonna need one, or like a little Swiss Army knife multi tool. Well, that's not Swiss Army, but 
You get the point. I just got my girlfriend a carry knives. I gave her, I got her a Spider Co. Honeybee. And she's going to start using it while carrying around. And hopefully she'll realize and see the, all the benefits that there are for carrying. Like, obviously, especially in New York, I don't know why I bought this. I, I like it, but I use it for home self defense. You're obviously not going to be an idiot and go out and buy an, an illegal, like, illegal knife. Unless you're that desperate for self-defense purposes. There's just so many uses for these knives right now, it's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure if I, like, when I'm, when I'm out on the weekends or something, I use it once a day. At least once a day. There's always something that needs to be cut. Especially here, here's a perfect reason why I should have a knife. Those annoying ass plastic packages that you buy at stores. Where they're impossible to open and you have to wait till you get home to use a knife or a scissor to pry them open. You know them. The crap that they seal up on the sides. All you have to do, let's say... I don't know, let's say it was something you need right there and it's not that easy to open. Just take out a knife, cut around the thing you want. And there you go. And it's open. Instead of waiting to get home, then, then cutting it open. You have it with you, so why not use it? Hmm, what other uses are there? You could use them for cutting paper if you want. You could use them for pretty much any job you could possibly imagine. So, if you obviously... Why you would make someone carrying a knife, not for the self-defense purposes, but especially for me for broadcasting, why would you do that when we use them, when we have a bunch of these lying around and we're always using them to cut tape? So instead of us all sharing one or two knives, I bring my own. So therefore I have it. And then in real life, some, something I need to cut, okay, I cut it. For example, I forgot what it was, but we just came back, me and my friends, we got back from the mall, and my friend wanted to open something. I whipped out my, I think it was my Gerber suspension, and I opened it up for him. So, there's no, it doesn't say, it doesn't change anything about a person, except that now they're more prepared. There's nothing wrong with being prepared. I'm only seven minutes in. Hmm. What else can I talk about? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Unless you... Well, wrap it all up. Unless you absolutely can't find a reason why you should have a knife. Like, if, you, if your line of work doesn't have use of it, if... You're not... If you're not running situations constantly where you need... Not even constantly. Like, if you never run into a situation where you have to cut something. Even if, like, like that packaging thing before where I said the little annoying packages. Even if you... Even if you never... Oh, even if you only get those every couple of weeks or so. Or something like it every once in a while. Keeping... Something like this in your pocket or for girls in their purse or whatever. It's not going to do you much harm. This little thing, you could probably even get away with something bigger like the um, power frame. You have all this makeup or all this random crap in your pockets. You really can't put one of these little Spider-Co honeybees in your, in your, on your person. I just don't understand it. Seven dollars, and whenever you need it, it's there. Plain and simple. And you're not gonna run. You're never gonna run across a moment in your life where you're not. Well, you'll run across one where you won't need it. But you're guaranteed to run into a situation in your lifetime, at least once a month, where you say, "I wish I had a knife, or I wish I had a scissor right now." Knife, or scissors, they're just straight edge. So whatever. You're going to run into a situation where you ask yourself, 
why I need to cut this when I ask yourself. You tell yourself I need to cut this, I now I have to wait home or I have to wait until I can cut it open. If you just carry even something like this or like this, or if you really want to, a full size blade. Now you have one. Plain and simple. Not like you're using it not like you're carrying around on your belt loop or something where like this and you're walking around the street playing with it. No, it's a tool. Treat it as a tool. You don't walk around swinging hammers in the middle of the street. It's just plain retarded. Yep, I think that's pretty much it for my little right now. So yeah. Um I'm expecting stuff from Countycom and I'm waiting for more paracords so I can make more bracelets and lanyards and stuff like that. One little cool trick I found with this paracord, we're going off topic, but whatever. Being that this is made in nylon, let me turn on the light so we can see. There we go. Being that they're made in nylon, you can melt them together so you just hold it over a zippo or I found it's easier either a stick handle or a stove just try to get the edges frayed so the cotton isn't showing get them frayed off and just have the nylon sticking up and then all you gotta do is hold them over the flame twist them and press them together pull them out find them out put them back in the flame push them together and you'll get a surprisingly strong seal. See, I had two scraps from this bracelet and I made them into a lanyard and a lanyard for my honeybee. So I didn't waste any, so it's kind of like recycling. And also, let me grab my other bracelet. See, I have this whole mess right here. This was original. This was originally too short, so I just took a little scrap of red about that long, and melted it on, and now it's holding pretty nice. Well, I really have to redo it because it's starting to break. I didn't get a good seal. Probably have to put. Another, probably have to use another red piece, but still, it holds up. Okay, this video is starting to get kind of long. I'm gonna cut it for now. Thanks. Thanks for you to those who watch. I really appreciate it. Please, if you like this video, subscribe. There's going to be plenty more. Not like this, but there'll be about knives. I do videos about computer tricks. I'm going to start a web design series. And also, yep, that's about it. See you guys later.